All right, Carter, give us the rundown. Bathurst cruise. This is shaping up to be like the biggest one I've ever done. Dude, I'm stoked. I think some of our viewers probably won't understand why we have to meet at a United Servo. Why is that? <laughs> E85. The juice of the gods. The nectar. There's always that guy that has to bring the high powered GDST. I tried to tell him. It says 8 GDRs. 80. 80 be GDRs. We try and explain to people what 80 GDRs means. Well, we need a... We need a translator. Here we go. Pour son enfance comme le chic dans une matrice avec malice. Mon élixir fait déborder le vase d'extase. Écrit comme naze dans le chapitre ultime qui révèle ma carabine qui ne prend de recul. J'éjacule avant de mollir. This is the true definition of GTR life. Filling up jerry cans. <laughs> Anthony Matuk would be very proud of me today because look what I'm cruising in. All right, it's a quick regroup at the BP service station outside of Bathurst. So we're now about to head to the mountain for the pilgrimage of the GDR. Uh, this year actually celebrates 30 years since the R32 GTR first competed at Bathurst, didn't win. Next year is the 30th anniversary of its first win at Bathurst. So hopefully that cruise will be even bigger. All right, so my GTR is not ready for today's cruise. It's living the normal GTR life of being in a workshop on a hoist with no engine in it. So Chris, He's got Killer 33, he's been to heaps of Cootamundras, the Tooks Racing built RB30, right? RB30, yeah, that's correct. Uh, run our viewers through what's under the hood. 6466 turbo, it's uh, currently making 550 kilowatts, it's got an OS Geek and one to five gear set in it from uh, Haltech. And um, other than that, perfect car, perfect street car. We should see ourselves drop into the nines, hopefully, fingers crossed. Try doing 6466 turbo, it's not going to be easy, but we'll, 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 we'll try and manage it. Time for a quick change of car to where I belong in an R32. <laughs> There's no bubble in this dash. Yeah, this is weird. Big... This is a uh, 94 model R32 GDR. Okay, so there's 81,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, imported about two years ago. It was a grade four. The interior was pretty factory, but it came with an Apex CRX6 um, single with a power FC at the time, exhaust, usual stuff. All the basically I've done to it is a Haltech. Um, and upgraded the fuel system on and a tune on E85. Now I heard you've got a funny story for our viewers. The uh, you mentioned that the gold R33 that we're building. You've got a little bit of history with that car. 
mate, I, um, I used to work with Dom at um, AutoStyle. I had an import place called Japspot, and I saw a lot of cars come in, and Dom said, hey, I've got this little, little beauty brought in. I said, well, what is it? Told me what it is, and went and had a look, and I was like, "What the hell is this thing?" <laughs> he always used to bring in all some funky stuff, so um, yeah, it was, it was good to it was good to see it again after you posted it. So, were you surprised that it's even still around, or were you more struck by how bad the thing was? You know, what, I'm very shocked how bad it was because I remember seeing it when it first came in, and it was actually really nicely done, really clean. After you posted, I was like, "Who the hell owned this thing? What the <laughs> hell did they do to it, man?" Because it was actually a really nice car when it came in. So. Um, and all the good jab gear, so hopefully you can revive it back to what it was. All right, it's drink time. Cheers, mate. Cruise well done.